Howdy y'all, Fast Forge 289. Welcome back. So today, we're doing, I'm just gonna do a quick little, I guess, quick tip video. So we're in my mom's, uh, excuse me, so you're saying 19, my mom's 2011 Ford Edge. And so the problem we've been having, she had a low brake pedal. And so I went through the motion to change the master cylinder, just like, cause you know, you get in, you got a low brake pedal. It's almost like, it just go, it don't go all the way to the floor, but it's real low to stop, but it's real low. Usually that's a bad master cylinder. I changed it out twice actually because they give me a bad one the first time I went to go. I changed it out, bled the brakes, spent like four hours just messing with it, trying to bleed all the air out of it. This system sucks on these cars. Still had a low brake pedal. So uh, doing further investigation and research, I found, I found out that the ABS control module, sometimes the pistons inside will stick and cause it to let fluid to bleed by and give you a low brake pedal. So to fix that is to go drive the car at 25, 30 mile an hour, slam on the brakes to activate the ABS to get it working again. So we're gonna go do that now. All right, so what you wanna do is go about 25 mile an hour or so, maybe a little faster, you know, ain't gotta be no exact science, but you wanna go about 25, 30 mile an hour, get up to speed and what you wanna do is you wanna hit the brake as hard as you can to activate the ABS brakes. Just like that. And you may have to do it a few times to actually get those pistons to unstick and actually work the way they are. But now the pedal's up nice and high again and it responds exactly like it's supposed to. The pedal isn't going low to the floor anymore. I don't know how well you can see it. It's kind of hard to see in there, but you know, when I press the pedal, it, I barely touch the pedal now and I got a good pedal again, just like I had before. And I've had to do this a few times. Uh, the first night I tried, it was raining, so I couldn't get good traction. You want a good dry pavement, and you want to get the speed and just hit the brake as hard as you can. And you feel that ABS kick in and out. And that's all there is to it. Now you got a good, good firm pedal again. It's high again. And don't have to spend the $500 to $1,200 or whatever it is that it costs to afford to get the module replaced. All right, it works good now. That's all I did. <clears throat> I sent them on the brakes a few times. And like I said, I don't know what it cost at Ford, but to go to Ford and have this control module replaced, because you got to pay for the service. You got to pay for their time. You got to pay for the labor. You got to pay for the part, the diagnostics. I mean, it would be high. I, I, I can only imagine, probably astronomical. I'd probably say if I had to guess to change something like that, it's probably at least a thousand, if not more. It could be 2,500 or more. Who knows? And that's crazy. So, now you don't have to spend the money. Save the money. It was free. It takes a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, good to go. And I can't complain. It works great. So if y'all like the video, I hope this video helps. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm getting subscribe new subscribers all the time, which I think is fantastic. So if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible and try to answer any questions that i can if possible so yeah that's all there is to it guys y'all have a good one take care and be safe i'll see you in the next one